Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Monkey Round Reviews. Today, we have the Tekken SP10 Smart Outlet. I really love these things. They work with both Alexa and the Google Home System. You basically can plug almost anything into this, and you can turn it on and off with just the voice command of whatever you name it on and whatever you name it off. I have some other brands of these that I've used in the past, as you can see in some of my other videos. Um, but what's really nice about this one is it comes in a four pack. So you'll get four of these round smart outlets that you can plug in anywhere in the house and with the sound of your voice and with either a dot or a full size echo or the Google Home, you can turn them on and off easily. You can even schedule the routines when you're not at home and it'll turn things on and off. So let's go ahead and open this and see what's inside. Um, this comes packaged in a plastic wrap. There we go, that we can peel right off here. Uh, on the box, it shows what the outlet will look like. It's got a, a printing of the brand on that side. And then uh, it says that it's Wi-Fi controlled, app controlled, you can set timers and voice controlled on that side. And then here on the back, we have the specifications. Um, it's the model SP10. It says that it's rated for 100 all the way to 240 volts. It's uh, 10 amps max. It can take 1100 watts and it's uh, 50, 60 hertz. Um, the only thing that I've tried plugging into smart outlets in the past that do not work was a popcorn maker. Um, it obviously pulls a lot more than 10 amps. I was just doing it to test and show the kids and it did not work. The popcorn maker was going uh, um, up and down, up and down in the power fluctuation because it was pulling too much uh, amperage for these things. But other than that, these things work great. I usually have uh, lights plugged into these things around the house. Um, I've actually got some other appliances that I want to try, so that's why uh, this is going to come in handy. So we're going to open the box, and what's inside here is the instruction manual and the four SP10s. So as you see, they all look exactly the same. They're a little round here. They've got the plugs on the back to go into the wall, the outlet plug in the front to plug into them, and then here on the side you have on-off buttons. So these will usually light up to show you the connection to the Wi-Fi or if it has power or not. And then this is actually your manual on and off. So if you don't want to go and say, uh, turn this device on, through the Alexa or through the Google Home. This button right here, you can just go up and press it, and it turns it on, press it again, and it turns it off. Nice and simple. So once again, there are four of these in here. So you can put these all throughout the house. You just name them all different names, and you can turn things on and off without even being there. So let's go ahead and uh, download the app that it recommends, which here in the manual, it is saying that it wants you to use Smart Life app. So we will go grab my phone, download the Smart Life app, and we will continue from there. Be right back. Okay, so we're here in the kitchen, and I've got this smart plug right here attached, powered up, and it's also uh, programmed in the Smart Life app. And I've named it Bug Zapper because I have a Bug Zapper plugged into it. Now the only thing that I've never been a really big fan of the round smart outlets is you cannot plug two of these in at the same outlet. You see it comes in here right at the bottom of the grounding plug. Now you still can put in another plug here. So as you see I can unplug this and I can plug this in here and it turned on. Um, so there's room for a non-grounded outlet to go in there a non-grounded plug, um, but I can't plug two of these in together. Now, if I take this and I plug it into the top, I can still plug it in there. So with this in the top, I can plug in a plug that has a grounded outlet on it, but obviously if I put this in the bottom one, um, it will work, but not all plugs will fit here because some of them have a lot more um, rubber or plastic uh, underneath that ground where it may not slide in exactly where you want it to. So just be aware of that. 
Um, if you want to have another um, device or just cable plugged in, you may have to move this from the bottom to the top to make it fit. Um, or it may fit fine here depending on if it's grounded or not. But you cannot use both of these Tekken round smart outlet plugs in the same outlet. Now if they were um, one here and one here, obviously you can. It's not a distance thing, it's just the, uh, the shape of these round plugs. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. I'm going to wait for the light here. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, flashing on and off as it's trying to reconnect to the network since I just unplugged it and plugged it back in. Um, I will state though, as it's trying to connect, you can just hit the button and it turns it on. You can hit the button again and it turns it off. So this will work without Wi-Fi as a manual button. All right, so it stopped flashing, which means we're now connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, like I said, I've already programmed this in and called it Bug Zapper. So it's easy enough to say, Alexa, turn on the Bug Zapper. And there you have it. And like I said, it will work with Google as well. So we can say, hey Google, turn off the Bug Zapper. Sure, turning the bug zapper off. And there you go. So it works with both programs. So once again, hey Google, turn on the bug zapper. You got it, turning the bug zapper on. Or Alexa, turn off the bug zapper. So as you see, on and off works fine. Works with both uh, devices, Google or Alexa. Um, there's no issues. Um, it was on and off. Basically, I just downloaded the smart home app that it recommended, uh, had it find the device, named the device, then went into both the, the Alexa and the Google Home systems and added the skill and it found it instantly. Um, I can't say how easy this setup was. It was literally just waiting for the light to flash, opening up the app and having it find it, naming it, and we're done. So once again, this has been Monkey Around Reviews with the Tekken SP10 4-pack of the Smart Outlets. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask so below. And as always, make sure you subscribe.